finally time for a brand new how to cosplay. Sorry for the delay, I've been working on a few new projects, one of which will be coming available pretty soon for you to see. So I hope you like it when it comes up, it is actually quite awesome. So yes, the fourth Doctor, one of my favourite Doctors, as played by the magnificent Tom Baker. And he, as such, he had many, many costumes over the seven years he was the Doctor. Many different scarves, many different coats. So we're going to cover it all. So we'll be splitting this, much like my Temp Doctor series, we'll be splitting this into three parts. One, this one, will be focusing on the Cordery look from seasons 12 and part 13. The next will be the Frock Road looks from seasons 13 all the way to 17. And then the final one will be focusing on his infamous Burgundy look, which just so happens to be one of my personal favourite costumes for the Doctor ever. So yes, let's get right into it. Before we head on to the variants themselves, let's take a look at the most important costume constant, the scarf. There are many variants of the famous scarf over the years, and there are two ways you can go about doing it, store-bought or hand-knitted. For store-bought, you may want to look into Levazi's scarves, which are absolutely brilliant replications. But if, like me, you want something a little bit more sentimental, then visit www.doctorwhoscarf.com for exceptional patterns on how to cover all the scarves Tom wore over his tenure. Variant 1 This variant is perhaps the most recognisable of the Fourth Doctors, designed by James Exon, who would go on to work on many properties such as Sam Raimi's Spider-Man franchise. He fully went above and beyond to construct the bohemian nature of the Fourth Doctors' costume. So, let's look into it. Fortunately, with the help of places like eBay, it's fairly simple to put together. The jacket. The fourth Doctor wears a burgundy corduroy shooting jacket for this season. By far one of the shortest coats he'll ever wear. This jacket is sold at Cosplay Sky, and it makes a very good version to me, looks the part. However, if you want to put a little bit more expense into it and get a little bit more detail out, Baron's Boutique have their own version. However, as it always is about coats, it's all about how much you want to spend on it. If anything, and you're strapped for cash, a plain red blazer will totally do the job. That's what I used for my first ever version of it. Shirt. The Doctor wears a white shirt with a check pattern. Check eBay and charity shops for this, but a basic white shirt will totally do. Cardigan. Tom wears a brown argyle patterned cardigan with tan and white diamonds on it. Due to the age of the design, it'll be nigh impossible to find an exact one unless you get it custom made. So again, eBay searches will be your friend in this case. Neckerchief. Well, the actual design is near impossible to find, but you can pull it off if you grab a generic neckerchief from eBay or Etsy, and you can tend to paint on the design yourself. Trousers. These are the easier bits which remain consistent with the outfit for the most part. You just need grey trousers. Tom wears grey tweed ones which you can potentially get from on eBay or stores like River Island or H&M or even in your local charity shop. And once you get these, they will last you all the way until Season 17's outfits. Shoes. In the show, Tom wore brown derby ringtip brogue shoes. You can find them in many shoe stores, or, of course, basic brown brogues will work perfectly. Throughout this season, the fourth Doctor often wore his TARDIS key on a necklace around his neck. It's quite easy to obtain one of these from eBay or wherever, and is often seen as a nice little bit of added detail. Only if you want to, of course. And, of course, the Doctor is always accompanied by his trusty sonic screwdriver, which is a pure grey and red tipped version of the third Doctor's. Character Options does a brilliant version of this one. You might even have it already. And for the tip of the colourful dessert, the hat. Tom wore a brown fedora, so this once again should be easy to find. Check out your local marketplace, or even ASOS. Now let's change it up a notch with variant 2. This is the beginning of the evolution of the Doctor's costume, and he's gone Scottish! Well, I just. The tartan scarf and the Tam of Shanta hat are but only temporary. The actual elements of this variant include a plain white shirt, a green cravat tucked into the shirt, both of which you can get at shops like Debenhams, and most importantly, the new waistcoat which will remain in use up until season 17. The new waistcoat is a Prince of Wales check which has already been reproduced, so if you're good at sewing you can grab the material from Spoonflower and do it yourself. If not, search eBay for vintage check and plaid waistcoats and you're guaranteed to turn up something appropriate. And finally, for the Planet of Evil variant, you only need to get a terracotta or an orange cravat. Or inexplicably a blue cravat, likely due to different filming blocks. Ah oh, well, these are of course available online. Now, if you're endowed with the cravats, whether you're getting the white ones or 
whether you can't tie them or, well, just feel free to use a necktie instead. Believe me, I've done that myself, and as long as it gets the essence of the costume down, you're pretty much all good. So, that's it for now. Next, we'll be covering the seasons 13 to 17 looks with the frock coats. So until then, see ya!